really nice development, and I, I don't doubt that one bit. Um, I have a few concerns. The school's busting at the seams now. I know that there's some uh, empty spaces that they're using at the middle school, and that's great, but where does that end? Uh, my wife and I had to subject our, our fourth grader to a raffle at this last, during the middle of the last school year because so many kids came in during the middle of the school year that they had to add a third fourth grade classroom and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the teacher's contract allows uh, 28 students in a class. That's a lot of kids in one class, times that by three. And this type of development concerns me of the added burden at a quicker pace than what you would have if you'd have any residential. Secondly, I, I, I'm concerned with the fact that I just think the area is becoming oversaturated with these types of developments. You'd have this, now you have Watermark wanting to rezone prime uh, commercial real estate. You have Tamarack Woods, you have uh, Remount Lake Apartments just down Frank Scott Parkway, you have Parkway Lakeside. And I know for a fact that when uh, Remount Lake Apartments were built, they were the creme de la creme of the apartments. And then Tamarack Woods came along and it kind of went down a little bit. Parkway Lakeside came along and it went down a little bit. And now they are forced into uh, government subsidized uh, apartments for some of their units. That's just a concern for mine. I, I don't speak for everybody here, but I think for a lot of us residents, uh, our idea of smart growth for Shiloh isn't uh, more uh, high density uh, multifamily housing units. I agree with George. Uh, this multifamily saturation is absolutely horrible. And what a lot of you people may not know in here is Deerberg that owns that property and went belly up in the McEagle project. We've been sitting out looking at an empty field. <clears throat> the back south corner of that is zoned multifamily. And they plan on moving forward with that faster than predicted because there's no growth in there right now. So that's coming. But now we're gonna have about seven multifamily residents within walking distance on this end of town. This is beautiful, it's neat. I would live there in Florida or somewhere, not here in Illinois. I don't think that's gonna be a problem over the next five years, it's gonna be beautiful. Are you guys gonna be, are your kids gonna be here in 10 years when that turns into what everything else turns into after 10 to 15 years? There's too many multifamilies and nobody can tell me in this room that that is good for this community. If you put all them together, if you're talking 600 just between these two, not counting Tamarack Woods, not counting the ones on Cross Street, not counting the ones that Deerberg's bringing, I don't even know what that's bringing, I don't even know. Then you got the Three Mile Lake Apartments, which is typically Old Fallon, but you gotta go to Shiloh to get there. And then we have another development on the other end of town by Walgreens that's coming back. Do we really want all that? 